Hey everyone, this is John Hood and welcome to 5 Minute Friday, where I get to show you some really cool things about Microsoft Teams. Today I'm going to talk about how to customize your channel tabs. As a reminder, when a team is created, you'll automatically get a general channel. What I've done is added a new channel called New Employees. Nobody's been added yet, and I want to set up the structure first. Whenever a new channel is created, you'll automatically get three tabs on the top. Posts, a file repository for your documents, and a wiki. One of the great things about this tab structure is that we can add or delete tabs, rename them, and create a structure that's going to work best, in this case, for our new employees. What I'd like to do is structure this channel so it's as easy as possible for new employees to access the resources that they need. I don't really need this wiki tab, so I'm going to right click, and here I could rename it, but I'm going to remove it. Now let's click on the little plus right here. This is the place where I can use all sorts of different apps that are available to me through Microsoft 365, and I can even add on third-party apps that you can see down on the bottom. They're totally searchable, and if your organization allows it, this could be a great place to add some resources. Some of the tab choices include a document library, maybe from a different SharePoint site, Office 365 apps like Excel, PowerPoint, and Word, access things like Microsoft Stream for employee videos. I'll add a tab to a specific website. Just click here. I'll rename the tab and then paste in the URL. Just make sure that you're only linking to sites that start with HTTPS colon slash slash. Then we're sure that it's a secure site. There's also a checkbox where you can post to the channel about this newly created tab. Then click Save. Now, anyone that has permission to this channel is going to see this notification, and they can also just click right here on Benefits Information to access this website. This makes it a lot easier for the employee. Remember, the idea of Microsoft Teams is to have one communication hub, and it's pulling in all these different parts of things that are available to you. Instead of just telling someone about this website or sending them a link, we've created a quick and easy tab on the top, and Teams is actually used as a browser in this case. Let's try another one. I'll click on the plus, and this time I'll add a document library. We can either use one of these relevant sites that surfaced, or we can use a SharePoint link. I'm going to click here on company-wide, choose next, click on documents, customize the name, and then choose save. And there it is, a document library that already exists somewhere else on SharePoint. Yes, we have a Files tab here, but remember, these files have to do with this team. They were either uploaded or shared right here within Teams. Yes, we could click here on New and create a new folder. From there, you can add documents and subfolders, but if there's an already existing document library, maybe in HR for example, I just want to reach out to it and add it as a tab. I just want to make it easy for employees to access these documents without bouncing around too much. Another really good argument for doing this is that these documents are specifically stored in the cloud. And that means I'm not duplicating these documents. I'm just creating a tab that links out to that document library. That way it's easy, there's version control, and if anything changes, it's automatically updated across the board. I'm going to add one more type of tab. I'll click. I'm going to add a Word document. I'll rename this tab, and automatically all of the Word documents that are available within this channel populate right here. Also, I can click right here on that little arrow, and navigate different teams to find what I'm looking for. I've chosen Employee Handbook, and then I'll choose Save. Now, not only does this custom tab show the content that the user needs to see, but it also uses Word right here within Teams, which can be viewed or edited on the cloud. Okay, quick recap. When a channel is created, you'll get three tabs, Posts, Files, and a Wiki. What I've done is I removed the Wiki tab, I created a tab for a website, a document library, and a shared work document. Remember, you're not stuck with default settings. 
And that is how to add, delete, and customize channel tabs in Microsoft Teams. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more quick tips on Microsoft 365 and Microsoft Teams. If you'd like to see more in-depth videos or perhaps would like customized training on Microsoft 365 applications, please check out our website at www.knowledgewave.com. The KnowledgeWave Learning site offers access to thousands of on-demand videos and trainings that are constantly updated to address all of the newest features that Microsoft has to offer. Visit our site or call us today to learn more.